Hey, Dave here from TavernSlot.com. In this video, I want to talk about breaking references when you're preparing your tab and slot model for processing. Now, we go through a pretty specific process here at tab and slot, and we do it for a very good reason. You can see on the screen, I've just got a little tab and slot model made out of quarter-inch material. Um, it's just a little just a little box for demonstration purposes and you're gonna see this come up um, a handful of times here so a couple things we want to take a look at first of all you can see if I run an interference detection you can see that my models good there's no interferences whatsoever right uh, let's take a look at this piece here right quick and you can see one of the things we do is we put a fillet on most of our external corners, you know, for certainly the tabs, we're going to put a little nose fillet on there, and that just makes it easier to assemble, and it gives us a little bit cleaner cut, okay? So, you'll notice that I don't have fillets yet on a couple of these tabs, okay? So, let's take a look at this part, and let's put some fillets on here. Now, I can tell you right now, this is going to screw some things up, okay? And I'm going to show you why in just a second. So, let's just come in here and let's put our 16th fillet and let's just uh, I'm just gonna do a few of them to illustrate the point here let me get that guy that'll be enough okay and let's just save the part come back over to our assembly and let's run that interference detection again okay now you can see we've got all kinds of interferences well how come well the reason is when we made the slot okay we did it in the assembly and we projected if I come over to this tab whoop, there it is right there actually I gotta go to one of these top ones if I come over to one of these guys you can see that square was offset our five thousandths projected through this part and that made our cut so now that we've sorry about this my mouse is acting up now that we've edited that square right because that square is different now it's shorter so now these fillets and all this material outside of that square is an interference so how do we avoid that well first of all let's delete our fillet let's get rid of that so we can go back to our assembly here let's run our interference detection again okay you can see we're good now so that's what breaking references does is it's going to break the reference between the cut in this part and the tab that it was projected from in the other part okay so you can see these little arrows right here that means that there's a reference this part is referencing something else so if I right click on it I list exter external references and click break all okay now you can see it added that little X right there so now I can go in I can put the fillet back in Let's see if I can just do it with a control Z I can come back over to my assembly and now you can see everything is fine when I run my interference detection it's still okay so you want to leave your references in until you're absolutely done modeling your part once you start processing your part for actual cutting uh, your final steps breaking references becomes very important depending on what your final processing process is processing process this is Dave Igo for tabandslot.com hope that helps talk to you in the next video